we can't go. Wow, we gonna show up. 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 We can't go. Wow, it's Green Wars filling the drought. Show up and show wow. Green Wars, Green Wars, Carolina. Green Wars, Green Wars, Carolina. Green Wars, Green Wars, Carolina. Well, as we heard Dex Carter saying, RWC going back on the road. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, ringwarscarolina.net. You can see all those dates listed there. Jonathan Darwin here on the microphone, joined by Stephen Hensley again. Thank you again for watching, whether it's through King Network TV or YouTube. And we're waiting the emergence of the Pink Gang, Ring Wars Carolina and AIWF affiliate. Kim Pierre, frequent visitor to Ring Wars Carolina, flanked by his partner, no comparison, Joey Harrison. And these gentlemen, very capable competitors with a tough task in front of them. Oh, yeah. Kim Pierre, no stranger to the tag team championship. Gold would love nothing more to have it back around his waist with this, with this new iteration of the Pink Gang. Pink Gang. 2.0 as they want to be identified and you're right they got to step up against the wrestlers today who are former AIWF world tag team champions recently yes and these gentlemen no slouches themselves 
No, not at all. I mean, we've called numerous matches for Caden Pierre. Joey Harrison tagging with other partners here in Ring Wars Carolina. So I'm interested to see how these two gel together, taking on a seasoned tag team like the wrestlers. Cowboys making their way out here to the adulation of the Lumberton faithful. Yes. Waco and Pecos, the RWC, hip, excuse me, RWC tag team champions, the wrestlers, champions now for a little over 287 days, defeating Gemstone and codename Flex back in May of 2023 at Slam in Benson, North Carolina. I tell you what, the wrestlers, they really know how to connect with the fans. They do, and they know how to connect with their opponents. Fist to face, boot to face, hook to the leg, pin them, it's over. They've been doing it real regular for well over a year now in this position. Yeah. For the Pink Gang, they're not feeling the same joy that the local crowd is. Well, I don't think they really care. Well, they're not here for that. They're here for what the wrestlers have in their hands right now. Those big old gold belts. Nothing pays the bills quite like gold. No, not at all. As a way of holding its value. I tell you what, Kane Pierre, no love lost with the fans, and I know the feeling goes back and forth between the fans and Caden Pierre. The wrestlers loved here in Lumberton. And quite the long stare between challengers and champions. Yeah. Trying to figure out which members of each respective team will be starting this one off here. As the referee shows what this one's all about. page out of G-Money's playbook. Hey, there's nothing wrong with some audience participation. Yeah, call and response, I get it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta work your style. You gotta shill some t-shirts. Get that, get that catchphrase established. Yeah, I mean, that's how you make the money. Referee checking. Uh, it looks like it'll be Pecos starting it off for the wrestlers, and what I thought I saw was um, look like Caden Pierre will be starting it off with Pink Gang 2.0. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Joey Harrison, he slipped in the ring. It's, Camera was out of position. And both men taking the time to circle one another, slow to approach the other man. Yeah, collar and elbow tie up. Steve, this one's going to be about one thing cut that ring in half, keep your partner in there, and your opponent away from their respective partner. And the side headlock applied by Pecos now to Harrison. Harrison trying to find a way underneath. He's got his hand underneath the Pecos, and he's able to pull out from under it. He goes and transitions into a hammerlock, and now a side headlock all his own. And I got to tell you, look at Harrison dropping to one knee, adding extra pressure there, 
So Pecos isn't able to push up and out of the headlock. He's got some great positioning there. And over top of the shoulder, you got a lot of momentum to push the other man down. But Pecos, big old country boy that he is, able to muscle up out of it right back to the side headlock of his. And Harrison trying to hold on to a side waist lock. Pecos scouts that a mile away, and he goes to work right away on that wrist. And he's looking, if I was guessing, to take out that arm. Harrison, I would suspect, is a pretty strong guy looking at his build right now. I'd say powers that man's friend. Yeah, I mean, that's what you want to do. You want to hone in on that one body part. And the wrestlers with some double team efforts there. And we'll see Waco for the first time this evening in the tag match. And Harrison quickly to retreat. I got to say, this is a mistake I didn't expect from the former world tag team and current RWC tag team champions. What mistake is that? I mean, you saw right there. Joe just walked on over there, man, slowly. But it doesn't matter. Look at the way that they're taking Caden Pierre to task. Sidewalk slam going for the pin. It doesn't matter how well that turned out. If you make a mistake once in a match regarding your titles, you're capable of making that mistake again. Arrogance isn't the friend of a champion. Confidence, I'm here for that all day. But arrogance in the face of a capable challenger, that's foolish. I don't know if it was arrogance so much as the speed of Harrison. I think you're giving, uh, taking advantage of the wrestlers there a little bit and dismissing them. I mean, it, plus it's still early on in this one. And Waco now. Uh, this is playing into his wheelhouse. That stalling suplex. He's so tall, so much hang time. And when he crashes down, a lot of way to fall. Yeah, and keeping the hang time up there rushes the blood to the head of your opponent, making them a little more dizzy. And there's a quick tag out. He hasn't been in there that long, but that's smart. In, out, in, out. Fresh man in, tired guy out. Get a rest. Yeah. Pierre with the reversal, going for the elbow, gets caught, a little bit of a do -si do kick to the midsection, and... Nice butterfly suplex, and a kip up by Pecos. I tell you what, though, you might want to pull Pierre just a little bit closer so he can't get over to Harrison. No argument on that. But Pecos is showing his oats, but he needs to be careful. I mean, Pierre could roll over, but uh, those boots might stop uh, Pierre from going anywhere. Pierre, he's going to the receiving end of some punishment, much akin to the punishment his partner was receiving at the beginning of this day. But you know, this there's always the chance this could be playing into their strategy, get the wrestlers feeling real, real comfortable out there, and then surprise them. Speaking of a surprise, he left right up there. We talked about it earlier, Ken Pierre, so agile, so quick. Yep, going for a pin. Strong kick out. And the rear, rear chin lock now. Just keep one half of the tag team champions grounded. You see Waco extending his hands as far as it can go. It's quite a bit of ways, but he is standing on that rope. The referee should be telling him to plant those feet on the apron. Well, I know you're the purist and you believe that both feet should be square on the apron when making the tag. I mean, I've read a rule book. Well, the referee gave him a little bit of latitude to that one. I mean, it didn't matter anyway. The tag was not made. And Pierre with a hair pull. And Pierre just pulling him into his corner. And that was a very intelligent maneuver by Kevin Pierre and a tag out at long lastedly to Mr. Harrison. And no comparison going to work right away on the abdominal region. And you see right now the big right hands of no comparison, Joey Harrison. And you, breaking those eyes, that'll water him real fast. And choking away at him, that's not going to help either. No, not at all. All legal tactics, but you know. Legal tactics? I said illegal. Oh, okay. Given the number of rules the referees willfully neglected, we might as well call it a legal. Oh, you mean like how Caden Pierre is using extra leverage there, right there? Really gets admonished. The referee can be cured, but I'd be surprised. Two count, though. You know, modern 
modern-day wrestling fans don't have the appreciation for rules as old school guys do. Well, I'll give you a point there, Steve. I mean, I, I there's some things I'd like to see, like. I think, I'm going to put this publicly out there. Dex Carter, think about bringing the tag ropes back to Ring Wars Carolina. Oh, I hope I the tag ropes. But, you know, we still have some incredibly solid competitors out there. And, you know, it's not their fault the referee misses something. They're real good at sleight of hand. Yeah, that is true. Speaking of strong... Com- flagrantly not caring. They're big boys. Oh, ref- referee out of position. Doesn't catch the tag. Yeah. Sorry, friend. Tag doesn't count. The ref doesn't see it. Yep. Ref's got to see it. You were talking about big, strong competitors. We're going to have big, strong competitors in that main event today for the RWC Heavyweight Championship. Tiger taking on the current champion, Xander Keys. And Caden Pierre now sitting on the small of the back, one of the wrestlers. Oh, that could bruise the kidneys. Caden Pierre. Standing at top, Pecos. And he's really egging on Waco's on the outside there. Mm-hmm. He's gotten inside the head of that guy. He's not enjoying what he's seen happen to his brother. He is definitely hating this. Oh, yeah. Talk about humiliation personified. Pecos just slips out from under him, grabs a hold of that, pulls back the single leg, drops the elbow on the back of the head. But it falls straight in the center of the ring, not close enough to tag his brother. A lot closer than Caden is, but Caden close enough to, to Pecos' partner. If he can't tag his own, he tag, he tag Wacos. And Waco now coming in out of sheer fluster. Genius move, really. Well, I mean, Caden Pierre, we know, knows how to get in the head of his opponents. A master of psychology, this young man is. And, oh! Nice. Meteor running off the ropes there. Double hook of the legs. Pinfall attempt nearly got it though. And Caden Pierre now. You see the look of ire on his face. See, this is the only flaw I see in Caden Pierre arguing with the fans instead of focusing on what's happening between those four posts. Yeah, but he doesn't do it for very long. He gets it out of the system, then he's right back on task. Be interested to see the offense that Joey Harrison can put together now. Oh! Oh, he got him with the double guns. Pow, pow! Talk about pushing the buttons of Waco. Well, if there's a cowboy stereotype that will get under their skin, they're going to try it. Oh, big double sweep of the leg. And now I think Pecos went straight down on his tailbone. And Jaden Pierre, he is as smooth as silk in the ring. That guy is an incredibly... Oh, come on. I, I, Incre- increasing the aerodynamicity and uh, throwing out a souvenir to the other half of the wrestlers. I don't think they wanted it. I, I do not believe he did. Oh. And some great combination offense here. Yeah, downstairs drop kick by Joey Harrison, but showboating by Pink Gang 2.0. Wasting what I'm going to consider valuable time for a pin attempt. I mean, yeah, you got Waco uh, outside. You got him worn down. But I think missed moment, Steven. That could come back to bite Pink Gang in the butt. As we see now, Harrison's sitting on the small of the back. But Pecos underneath the ropes. And the position should be broken. And Harrison... Turning to the back, the strategy he started here with a knee and a double axe handle to the back. Good lateral press, presses down on the wrist of Pecos. Good way to cut off the attempted kick out. Unfortunately, not successful for him. Still intelligent, good fundamentals. Tag out to his partner. Okay, here taking his time to measure him. And a nice bicycle kick to the side of the abdominal region, the obliques there in the rib cage. Well, if you know, it's also Harrison held it open a little bit to get extra pullback so those those obliques got hit hard. Oh, yeah, he framed him like a picture. And Pierre now with the pin attempt. Oh, two count. I, I tell you, Waco trying to get in there. He wants to save that tag team championship for the wrestlers. 
Well, this one isn't over, but it isn't looking good for his partner if he continues to be isolated. Yeah. He's capable and he's resilient, but every man has a limit. Very much so. Could we see a roll-up here by the rustlers? Pecos, oh, wait a minute. Lift up out of the roll-up, and he pancaked him backwards there, and he certainly rocked him. Yeah, but I think it took a lot of energy out of Pecos. That might have been the last of the momentum that the young man had. He needs to roll over and roll over badly. Yeah, but he had no other choice there. No. That's the way you make it happen. You reach down deep, and he's got to reach over there. He's got to get the tag to his brother, and he's got it. And Waco coming into this one like a house of fire. Lighting up Harrison. Lighting up Pierre. Big boot by one half of the wrestlers. Oh, textbook leg drop going for the pin, and Pierre breaks it up. Well, Pierre, he's not foolish. He saw the end coming there. Waco's a big guy, agile guy, heavy guy to have come crashing down on top of you. And he's hooking him up right now. He's got him in a pump handle position. He's got him lifted up, switches over almost to a power slam style. A blind tag by Pierre. I don't... Waco's completely unaware right now. Shoulder breaker. And Waco setting up for what he thinks. Is the referee aware? I think, yeah, the referee called it. And wait a minute, Pierre. Well, Pierre runs in there, hits him in the back, and this is a great time for the Peak Gang to make this one happen. I tell you, and referee, this could be it. Pink Gang 2.0. Nice and, double power bomb off the turnbuckle there. Oh, no! They dog cloud on top of him there, trying to get the victory, but unfortunately for him, Waco's just strong enough to muscle them out of that. Yeah, that was two and an eyelash if it was. And Pierre, Got him up, Harrison off the ropes. And wait a minute, Pecos catching Harrison. And the trip up there, that's not gonna help out the Pink King. No, not at all. And Waco's coming back to life inside of the ring there with those clubbing forearms to Kane Pierre. He's got a hold of him, short arm, sits him to the other side of the ring with an Irish whip. Yeah, Waco giving the guns and coming in. And those are the authentic pow pals. It looks like we'll be setting up here for the Yeehaw Seesaw. Coming off the ropes is Pecos, and yeehaw, seesaw! Oh Lord, he drove him into the mat, he almost spiked him through it. And that's it, wrestlers retain. <laughs> Successful title defense by the wrestlers, Bank Gang 2.0, Giving the, everything they could to the wrestlers, just not enough here today, as the wrestlers are successful. Hard fought victory for them. Yes, very much so. Don't go anywhere, fans. We got that big main event, but before we get to it, we're going to bring you up to speed about what's going on between Tiger and Xander Keys right after the wrestlers get done celebrating. Certain. Yeah, that, that's like dropping the bomb. There you go. Speaking of dropping the bomb, Tiger's wife getting off a good right hand there. Well, she's not a loss for action, even if Tiger is. Well, we know Tiger's a spitfire when he wants to be. He's also in the back right now. Well, there's Tiger. Well, not in the back anymore. That was quick. He came back out here. That was two seconds. He cleared everything. Well, I mean, you go and attack a man's wife, verbally even, you're going to get 
what's coming to him with right now, Tiger giving Xander Keys the beatdown. And some of my abilities, but never, ever talk to me about being a bad husband or a bad father. Wow, we gonna show up. We can't show up. Wow. R R W W C C. You hear the cheers and adulation. It's tonight the night that Tiger emerges victorious and wins his first ever RWC Heavyweight Championship and at the same time get a little revenge on the way that Xander Keys disrespected Tiger and Tiger's wife. I mean, it's entirely possible. As capable as they come is that man. And Xander Keys, man, if Tiger had any questions before, it looked like Xander Keys had him on tilt when he asked the hard questions. If he had doubts before, man, that fire is lit. You can see it in his eyes. You can feel it in his presence. He's not screaming. He's not yelling. But coming from Tiger when he is that focused, that, my friend, that is when you are in the most trouble. Yeah. I mean, you have poked a man who usually just comes at you. But he's almost coiled like a snake and is just looking for that opportune moment to strike on Xander Keys. Tiger pacing there. While we were waiting for the champion, we want to thank you again for watching us either on YouTube or King Network TV. If you're watching us on King Network TV, check us out on YouTube at Ring Wars Carolina TV. Don't forget to hit the subscription button, the like button that helps with the algorithm and the notification bell to know when new episodes are gonna drop. If you're watching us on YouTube, don't forget you can check us out on King Network TV available for Fire Stick, Apple TV, Roku TV. And the heavyweight champion, Xander Keys, making his way down the ring today. And this is his first title defense, coming out of that big win in the Battle Zone match a couple weeks back. Yeah, and, and only winning by one fall. I mean, that was a close one. And you know, as much as he has his work cut out for him, Tiger, he equally has a huge obstacle in front of his goals. Xander Keys, he was a capable and an incredibly hard to defeat junior heavyweight champion, but now he has the top prize in our promotion, the Ring Wars Carolina Heavyweight Championship. And what an obstacle it will be to take a guy down that motivated. Steve, in my mind, I am weighing the experience of Tiger versus the momentum of Xander Keys. Yeah, Xander's only been going at two years, but he's been. And the champion from the greatest city in the world, Dubai, weighing in at 15 and a half stone. He is your current Ring Wars Carolina heavyweight champion. Well, as I was saying, Steve, those two years have been a very concentrated effort by Xander Keys. 
I mean, in the ring, he has been going bell to bell, post to post, like nobody's been able to go out there from the offset. It's one of the most impressive from rookie to heavyweight champion outings I've seen from anyone in our sport. Yeah. I know the Tiger's got a couple of tricks up his sleeve. It'll be interesting to see what he pulls out here. Xander Keys, though, with a height advantage and reach advantage. Tiger's going to have to stick and move on the champion. And Xander Keys, you know, Tiger's coming into this match the veteran. But it's arguable. Xander Keys, with how often he's been wrestling over the last two years compared to Tiger, has taken quite a bit of time off. Spade to spade. Yeah. Is it possible that he's the one with the more honed instincts at the moment? Is Tiger Brass going up against somebody who maybe has better ring instincts than he does at the moment? Well, that's the contention that we heard Xander Keys talk about last week. The Tiger's old. The Tiger's lost it. The Tiger doesn't have it anymore. And you're right. I mean, you can't take anything away from the fact that Tiger has been absent from the ring. Coming back for the battle zone match is one thing. But does he have enough in play? Uh oh. Well, Tiger having himself some fun out here, and some of the fans here are absolutely loving what they're seeing, and Xander Keys does not. No, I, I, the flag of his nation. You see Xander Keys now finally coming back into this one. having a time getting this thing started. Yeah, war of the wars between men. Let's see the action now, gentlemen. Collar elbow type gets this one underway, but almost a stalemate at that point. Both men having a time out there. And from the walk up, Tiger gaining the advantage Bit of an arm bar and a wrist lock and a bit of a torque. And he goes right to work on the arm. Great positioning with his hand over top of the shoulder there, making it very easy for him to drive Xander Keys down to the mat and attempting a cross face. Xander Keys knows what a problem situation that is as he gets up and finds his way over the ropes very quickly and you cannot blame him for that. No, not at all. That's good ring awareness by the champion. I want to go back to the whole thing as that started for Tiger, if you notice, the first thing he went to work on was Xander's fingers. There's ligaments and tendons in there. That's how he was able to slide down onto the wrist of Xander and see what we had there before Xander Keys was able to make it to the ropes. Tiger going behind rear waist lock. Xander yeah, keeping a wide base. Tiger trying to match him and squat down, but that gave up some of his positioning there, some of his leverage. And with the vertical reach that Xander Keys has, that's a dangerous situation. Nice drop down to the fireman's carry, though. And Tiger right on top of his back there, and that's great for going for that side headlock and going to a front hate face lock and riding over top of him now. Yeah. It's really cinch it in on him. Yeah, Tiger's smart keeping Xander Keys grounded here. This is the experience of Tiger coming back out. I mean, you don't forget these things even though you take a break from the ring. Xander Keys. Keeping a no, good grip on that wrist there. No, I don't. Tiger making his way back up to his feet. And that does get a little bit of the pressure off. Xander Keys should have torqued up a little bit there. I think that would have kept the reversal from happening. Tiger, he's a guy you can't make a lot of mistakes, though, in terms of your fundamental wrestling. He has that stuff scouted in space. No. It's like riding a bike, even with the time away, he doesn't forget that. No, not at all. But this, look again, Tiger has to break the hole because of Xander Keys grabbing the ropes. That's the reach advantage that Keys is going to have in this match. Tiger's going to have to do more work in the center of the ring and not near the ropes because Xander could have a moment to get over there and force the hole to be broken. Well, yes, you're all right about that. And we see now Xander Keys. Oh, wait a minute. Tiger coming in with the big clubbing forearms. And snap suplex. Oh, here we go. Signature Tiger. Well, I, th I thought he was going to go for the second suplex, but decides to go for a neckbreaker. And Xander quickly to the outside. 
Yeah, Zambia Key is no fool. You give him that large an opening when he can see what you got coming, he's going to get the hell out of there if there's even the most remote chance. Yeah. And there's a thing to also think about Stephen Champion's advantage. I mean, Xander Keys could stay out there, get counted out. Tiger wins the match, but not the title. And, yep, that's what we're seeing here. Going over the Dex Carter. Come on, Dex. Well, he's going Dubai bye bye, my friend. No. Tiger ain't having any of that, though. Let's get back in the ring, son. Here, let me help you. Via the post. I mean, I know the post can get a package somewhere. I didn't know it could get you back in the ring. Oh, horrible. that was almost like a dad joke. A bit of a faux pas. And Tiger dropping his leg straight on the arm. The submission almost applied there, Steve. I mean, that is a submission, John. That's a great way to snap a man's wrist if you really want to push back. Yeah, but I mean, you're leaving the arms free. You're leaving the legs free. I don't know if Tiger's got enough there. Take a body part. Yeah. Although, really, from my perspective there, the way he had that wrist position, he should have just grabbed those fingers and snapped it. I mean, that's what we were talking about earlier. Tiger did now, and now Xander Keys back up to the vertical base. And Tiger running around the ring there, and that is definitely one in his column is his speed. And he is great at using it to its fullest advantage there. And that duck down sent Xander out, and he's falling to the outside. Great kick to the gut. Clubbing for on blow to the back. And I got to wonder, Steve, I'm just think had this thought, how much of this is Tiger wanting to win the match to be champion, and how much of this is Tiger wanting to win for his pride? A little from A, a little from B. One hand feeds the other. And, you know, wanting to be champion in pride, that's one and the same. But wait a minute, Tiger calling for the close-up. Well, Tiger, as much as he likes to get a picture with the media, and Lord knows that does help you out sometimes in life, I think today oh. you might want to concentrate on winning the title. Yeah, I don't know if he got all off that kick. And, and you got to be right, Steve. Both men need to be careful. Oh, the referee coming and bringing him back in the ring. I like that. Don't let him get counted out. Get it back. Action back in the ring. And a good hook in the leg there. Doesn't get the three count, though. No. Tiger with a wrist lock again. But this is what I'm talking about. Okay, looks like maybe Tiger can keep Xander in the center. Oh, well, yeah, good position. Oh, but Xander quick to adapt to every situation using one of Tiger's earlier tricks in this bout against us. Yeah, that shoulder went hard into that unforgiving steel corner post. As we see now. Wrist lock applied by the champion and Xander goes center to the other side of the ring, sends him into that ring post, and that could cause a shoulder separation. And Tiger, he is on the outside absolutely writhing in pain now. Yeah, both shoulders of the challenger damaged, and the referee smart to check it in there. Make sure the Tiger can continue. Oh! Xander Keys pushing him into the ring apron. Yeah, that and that's a very unforgiving piece of steel right there. That could do some damage to the disc. Oh, right across the whole spine. You getting a little choked up there, buddy. I, that, that's a career shortener there, Steve. You're only saying that because you almost broke your back falling out of bed. I did not. <laughs> did not. Xander Keys sending Tiger back into the ring now. But the damage has been done to the shoulders, to the spine. Could be limited in mobility of Tiger. Sends him into the turnbuckle. Xander Keys has a lot of options right now. You know, he's done damage to the head, he's done damage to the shoulder, he's done damage to the back. Now's the time where you really want to center in on one of those body parts. Finish the dissection. Put this one to bed. And I thought we were seeing that when Xander was over in the corner and Xander was putting his hand on Tiger's shoulder, going to work on the trapezius muscles, but looks like a different strategy by Xander Keys is being applied now. Off the nerve, you know, sometimes you forget this guy is incredibly agile. He's been a junior heavyweight and a junior heavyweight champion, but he's a tall guy with some real size on it, some very defined muscle definition. Big open hand is slapped to the face of Tiger. I don't know if it did anything but agitate the challenger. Well, agitate him or not, 
He's not in a position to change his fortune at the moment. Vander Key's taking his time to get back in the ring. He's a bit of a breather himself, I suspect. That is part of why he's taking his time. Tiger, though, bent over in pain, but he blocks the attempted shot by Xander Keys, and he's unloading with a chop and a forearm to the side of the face, and a clothesline's going to send Xander Keys to the outside. Yeah, Tiger getting the momentum to shift back in his favor as the champion's laying there straight on the on the outside of the ring. Oh, Tiger, Tiger, I think Tiger's going to take the risk. Well, Tiger... Scaling the ropes right now. He is up top, and Xander Keys slow to turn around, and he's turning around into a world of trouble. A crossbody block from the top rope, and that might have caved his chest in. That's going to do a lot of damage to Xander Keys, and Tiger right back up on his feet. You know that hurt him, but he is feeling the adrenaline right now. You took the words right out of my mouth, Steve. Adrenaline can do a lot of things. Tiger probably not feeling any pain as he delivers the suplex to the champion. And again, not doing any favors for Tiger, but doing way more damage to Xander Keys, the heavyweight champion. Little wince on the face of Tiger, so yeah, it hurt a little bit. But you're absolutely right, Steve. More damage being taken by the champion than the challenger at this moment in the match. Tiger rolling in the champion, going on Xander. Wonder if Tiger can get that pin. Great finds the leg. With the hook, it's only two count. Well, Tiger being presented a prime opportunity right now. He's had some incredible offense on the outside where he was able to do a lot of damage in a very short amount of time to Xander. Oh, we know what he's calling for. Oh! Maybe he shouldn't have called for it. Maybe he should have just done it. Xander Key stuck once, but not once, but twice right there. Yeah, still on wobbly legs, but... Gets caught belly to belly, release suplex overhead. And that requires a lot of strength because you have to clear yourself to do that effectively. And Xander Keys, he nailed it. Yeah. And we know the damage has been done to Xander, excuse me, Tiger's spine earlier. Well, it's been a target in this match. Xander Keys gave himself a lot of options, but it seems it appears that he zeroed in on one. He's got him up. And a great fall down from the fireman's carry. Pitfall attempt. Two count, though. Almost took it. What's going through your mind right now if you're Tiger? You know, this match means a lot to him for so many reasons. Right. We've already mentioned, but emotionally, how do you think he feels right now? Well, I think he's going to want to dig deep, if anything, to prove to not only those in the audience, but himself, I still have it. Tiger sucks, just like you. And Xander Keys with more harsh words, and that had a great deal of effect on Tiger last week. Do you think it's weighing heavy on him right now? I, I don't know. I think Tiger's focused more on the pain than what happened last week. I mean, you see the elbow getting extended there. I mean, a lot of body parts of Tiger's has taken punishment in this match. Well, he has a lot of tools, I suppose. Xander's idea, if you're not going to focus on one body part, if you're going to focus on three, Take as many tools away as you can. Which your strategy. Make sure he can't enact any strategy. Well, what you got to do with a veteran like Tiger, because you're right, Tiger can pull a lot out of his toolbox at any moment. Xander Key's a little showboating there and battering ram straight to the solar plexus of Tiger. And oh! Pulls him out, dumps him. Didn't get him up high, but in no position to cushion the landing there. No, not at all. I'm... All right, Steve, if you... why is Xander not covering Tiger? I mean, you, you put in all this effort, and you're going to sit there and try to show off rather than go for the pivot. take 30 seconds to discuss this and five seconds to address Tiger posing for a camera shot mid-match. Mm -hmm. Nice shot by Xander Keys. Let's not miss out on that. There's the focus you want it. You happy now? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Words exchanged by the champion and those in the King Arena audience. Great finds the leg. Lackadaisical cover. Excuse me, I couldn't get that out. Xander Keys. 
staying on task here. He's winded right now, but his opponent looks incredibly exhausted. And Tiger with those shots to the midsection there having some effect, but unfortunately not enough behind them. No. No, I mean, it's almost like a 50% effort at this point for Tiger because of nothing else, the fact that he's so worn down. Well, I think it's 100% effort. Unfortunately, it's 50% of his usual capability. Fair point. Submission maneuver right in the middle of the ring. And that is some really serious pullback on that arm right there. And you see the positioning of the elbow. If he moves his arm up just a little bit higher and he leans back, he can break that thing. Yeah, and you see the way that the left palm is placed on Tiger's pectoral region. Pressing down the shoulder too there, man. Yeah. Tiger, though, able to turn around. And once he's facing him, he's able to get up to a vertical base there. Xander switching it up. And a nice drop down there, pulling Tiger's shoulder and arm into his knee. Mm -hmm. and that can pop it out of socket. And I tell you what, referee checking on Tiger again. I can't blame him. Tiger's saying he's still good to go, though. Well, Tiger's saying he's good to go and being good to go are two entirely different things. The way he's holding that arm right now, we're not talking about damage that could be done. We're not talking about a strategy that needs to be enacted. This strategy's already come to fruition. This could already be an injury. Yeah, and, and we won't know until the match is over, sadly, if it is. Xander coming out to the outside now and just going to work on Tiger out there. And Oh, no, right across the fence. Well, I'm not doing any favors for Tiger. And the fans here, you hear them voicing their displeasure with the situation at hand, but good for the goose, good for the gander. Tiger was not shy to make use of the outside earlier when it was possible for him to gain the upper hand. Xander Keys, he's not gonna be a slouch either. He's taken to everything that Tiger has done and done it just as well as him every step of the way in this contest. And look, that speaks to the conditioning of the champion, not rolling in, doing push-ups. And that might be the one thing he has over Tiger in spades. You wouldn't have said that two years ago, but no. time off. Xander Keys may be more conditioned. Well, I mean, and hungry. And you know, it's the question in the air, but it's also, it's the question in Tiger's head right now. And Tiger, he is coming to life, fighting for everything. He's Wait a minute, going Gordon. over in a small package. One, oh, two count. That was really close. Lariat by the champion. Lays Tiger out. And the cobwebs go, being shook out of the head of the champion as Xander Keys now just pulling on both arms of Tiger. Nice go to Cora choke there. Really leaning back on him. He has the knee in the center of the back of Tiger just rolling towards him. And that's what you want to do when someone's got you from behind. You want to turn around as quickly as possible and face him. That's how you break it apart. Tiger, he's got a hold of both legs and he lifts him up and over there from the double leg. Xander Keys grabbing a hold of his back, but look at Tiger. Oh, Tiger's exhausted. That took every ounce of effort from Tiger. I mean, Tiger can't even roll over to pin Xander. He's got to gulp down that oxygen right now. You know, easier said than done, but he needs to do it rapidly and get that into his blood again because he has got to push through if he wants to win this thing. Yeah, needs to catch his breath, find that second win. With oh, and straight down goes Xander Keys. But look at that, Tiger's still trying to catch his breath. Yeah, it's unique offense there. I thought he was going for a crucifix midway through. It came undone, but he was able to just slam into him and force him down to the canvas there, and he, he nearly got this thing out of it. Yeah, and just draping the arm over there. But that shows you how exhausted is Tiger. I mean, that's all he could do at that point. And we see now Tiger trying to find that energy from the fans. Well, he's trying to get that pep back in his step right now. And he's going to run into the oh. champion, but he unfortunately ran right into that ring post. Yeah, that shoulder again going right, in, or excuse me, yeah, shoulder going again in there, and rear wave locked by the champion. Tiger with some elbows, breaks free, and holy moly! 
Where's this coming from? Tiger gets another suplex off. Well, Tiger firing off suplexes as quick and as fresh as he can. Xander Kiza, that leverage making the landing a little bit awkward on the execution, but still he got him up and over and sending him down with all Tiger strength. That did a lot of damage. Yeah, it did. Look how slowly Tiger's getting up to the top rope, if at all getting up to the top rope. I don't even know if that's going to be probable for Tiger. I mean, if it is, he's taking a humongous risk. Well, step by step, he's made his way up there, Josh. Yeah, but is it going to be enough? Coming off the ropes and splash right down on the champion. And and Tiger doing a lot of damage to his opponent's ribs. And he's got the hook of the leg here next to the ropes, though. Yeah, this is what we've been talking about all match. That arm length of Xander Keys. I mean, that ain't even required a link, though. He's literally three inches from the rope. Yeah. And it's unfortunate. Tiger had the right move, but the wrong positioning. And the cross face attempt, Xander Keys, though, rolling through it. He's right next to the ropes one more time. Yeah, but I don't, look at the way that Tiger's turning now. So Tiger's the one that's close to the ropes, not Xander. Smart doesn't want to make the same mistake twice, and he's pulling further away. But Xander Keys, again, still so very close. Well, I mean, he got his arm under the rope, so you actually have to technically break there. And there we have it, a great roll through, and that pulls him away again. Well, I thought he was going to, referee was going to force the break. Tiger, such incredible positioning on the arms. Xander Keys, I believe he's reached that foot back. It's on the ropes. Yeah. And there we are. We should get the break. The referee starting the count. But Tiger using everywhere close to that five count. I mean, that's the Tiger of old there. I mean, that's not just the Tiger of old. That's any man in a championship contest who has his wits about him. It's time to get serious, and Tiger is as serious as they come when it comes to... Wait a minute, Steve. Going for the flagpole. Oh, come on! And that, I, I believe that's the end of the match now. That's the disqualification. I'm oh, sure. yeah. If there's a referee to call for the disqualification... I mean, no one to call for the bell right now, but... Oh, come... Yeah, right. Come on, Xander. You... I guess one, two, three. This, this is irrelevant. No! But okay, so wait a minute. How come that ref did not disqualify Xander Keys as soon as he came out? I, I assume, based on what we saw earlier, the referee who enters the ring can only call the contest from the point that he's actually out here. Wow, that's a deep cut to the rule book, but you're absolutely right, Steve. Tiger has got to measure it up and oh, super kick to the referee. Inadvertently. Well, down goes another and a super kick by Tiger. He could go for the pinball here, but... Wait a minute. I mean... I think we're running out of refs, though. I mean, he saw the referee get knocked out. Yeah. Well, here we go again. One. Two. No. All right. That was that was nearly it. I mean, Lord Almighty, man, what's the... What are the rules? I don't... At this point, I think you're right, Steve. The ref can only call from when they came in. That referee a little slow to come in the ring. Otherwise, we would have had a new RWC heavyweight champion. Tiger going up. High risk again. Don't get down, but... Oh, wait a minute. Well, Xander Keys pushed the referee into the ropes there, and that cost Tiger B. And Xander Keys... Do bye-bye-bye to the referee. Is he going to pin the ref? What are we doing? We're going to run out of refs at this point. I mean, he's going to be... I didn't know we had this many. I mean, it's going to be Dex Carter in a moment coming out in the black and white. Well, Xander Keys still wrestling the match. I mean, we still have a match going on, evidently. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you what, though, if any of the referees come back to consciousness, I think they're going to end this one. Wait a minute, Tiger. He's up there. Both men fighting on the ropes, and oh! oh. Big time power slam coming off the top rope there. No one to count the pinfall at this point, though. Uh, well, why? What do you think there is? I mean, we went through what? I lost count. I'm like three or four refs. One little, two little, three little zebras. And Dex Carter is just sitting there letting it go on. I mean, he's not a referee. To his credit, he shouldn't be involved in the match in that capacity. Mm -hmm. And a turnover finally on Tiger. 
One more and this thing's over. And that's it. I'm sorry, I, that first one. Is that three count, four count? This is over. I tell you what, Steve, this one battered and bruised both the challenger and the champion. I mean, yeah, you're right about that. This is this is the definition of the word hectic. It is hard to call who was issued a more raw deal in this one, really. A lot of things came into play here, which shouldn't have. Yeah. But at the end of it all, there's no arguing with who's walking out with the championship title, and that is Xander Keys. Yeah, and Dex Carter's gonna have to give it back to Xander Keys. Tiger unceremoniously out of the ring. And there you see Xander Keys clutching his heavyweight championship. Yeah, but I mean, Tiger, I mean, pillar, minute to minute, bell to bell, he took it to Xander Keys. And this could have been Xander Keys' toughest challenge to date, but still came out victorious. You know, those are beautiful points. He took it to Xander Keys. But you know what Xander's doing that Tiger's not? He's taking the title home. Tiger gets to go back to his wife. Xander gets to go back to a winner's payday. Now on the private jet back to Dubai. And the fans here, they don't like what they see. No. It doesn't matter. Well, look at the look on Tiger's face. Sour grapes, bud. I think Tiger wants another bite of the apple. I gotta say. I'm sure he does. It's the heavyweight championship. I mean, it's a strong case for Tiger to get another shot at this. Well, you're not wrong on that one. And the patriotic crowd here in Lumberton, North Carolina. Tiger earning the respect of the fans, still not the champion though. For Stephen Hensley, this is Jonathan Darwin saying thank you for joining us. We will see you for another episode of Ring Wars Carolina Battlegrounds.